if you are removing a faucet or a water supply line from a kitchen or bathroom sink, chances are that you will need to use a basin wrench to loosen the nuts. There are various designs of basin wrenches. However, the concept on how to use a basin wrench is the same for those different designs. The shaft length is adjustable on this one. You can use the handle to turn it or for additional leverage you can put an adjustable wrench on the square shaft. The end of the wrench swivels so that you have different angles to grasp the nut and it also allows the wrench to both tighten and loosen a nut. It can be difficult to swivel the end of the wrench but that's so that it doesn't change position when you're using it. The jaws are spring-loaded. To loosen a nut, put the jaws in this position. Slide the wrench onto the nut that you want to loosen. And position it so that the round serrated part of the wrench is on one of the ends of the nut and that the flat serrated end is on the flat side of the nut and then turn counterclockwise if the wrench is slipping on the nut. You can try folding a piece of sandpaper in half and curling it around the nut and then try to turn it. And as often happens in the real world, you won't be able to get the nut loose with a wrench. You may have to remove the sink from the vanity or the countertop and then hacksaw it off or if you have a Dremel tool and a cutting wheel you may be able to cut the nut off in place. To tighten, flip the wrench 180 degrees, grasp on to the nut and turn clockwise And a word of caution, a lot of the new tightening nuts are plastic and when you're using a wrench, ensure that you don't over tighten them. They're really only meant to be hand tightened. If you over tighten them, you can break the plastic nut. If you found this video helpful, a thumbs up is always appreciated. To help me continue to make these videos, Please subscribe to the channel, it's free, and thanks for watching.